I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily, Monday through Friday, to do these love readings for you. Any and all signs, all of you are welcome. Please do smash the uh, like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. And yeah, I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Central Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay, let's get into this. All right, you guys, let's get into this reading for the month of October. Okay, so... You are my match. I'm tired of waiting. I wonder if it's too soon. You make me feel shy. Okay, so you've got somebody here that you may be connecting with at this time or you may be meeting soon. This person's a little bit of an introvert, I feel. Um, I do feel like you... you you may already know them, I will say this, and I feel like this person feels like it's a good connection or that at least they see something in you where you two um, do have somewhat of a good, like there's a match here, there's something that I feel like this person feels like the two of you have in common. Um, they're in a hurry though. I feel like this person is kind of in a rush to push something forward. They, they really want to get to know you better. They're a little bit shy. <laughs> like I said, a little bit of an, uh, nerd, um, gosh, an introvert. But I also feel like they don't want to push too fast. Uh, they don't want to come on too strong. They, I don't know that they're even capable of coming on strong because they're a little bit intimidated by you. Okay, so that's the first thing I feel like is happening here so far if you especially if you already have met this person or there's some type of connection that is developing um depending on like it like if you've already met them and it's slowly going forward yes that's an energy there i'm picking up or if you've already have a relationship with this person let's take a look at the past energy for you okay so yes Three of Cups. So this is an energy of dating, socializing. I do see in the past that uh, you being open, I feel like you may have uh, you may have had other options, or you're just kind of taking things light, not really pursuing anything in the past too heavily. Maybe keeping your options open with other people, dating other people, nothing too serious. Hanging around with your friends, your family, doing your just daily life stuff. Um, going out for drinks, enjoying social activities, things like that. This is a really good card. So it looks like whatever else may have been going on in your life, um, you're still maintaining a sense of joy and fulfillment and things like that in your dating life and in your love life and in your everyday social activities. So that's a positive. Now your present energy, okay, there's definitely a little bit of conflict in your present energy and maybe some competition as well, okay? You've got a little bit of um, some challenges. It's not serious in your present energy at this time. I do see a um, little bit of tit for tat going on in your life or maybe in your daily life. Um, some challenges. That's all I feel. Like um, maybe some challenges at work or some challenges in your love life. Um, stuff on the just the daily like it kind of feels like um more like molehills not mountains you know um nothing that i feel like you can't get through on the daily do you know what i mean the, but the the let's see it's crossing you okay the four of cups so i feel like this is more in the position of you of the benefit okay for you um they're telling me try not to take things too seriously at this time in your love life this is what i'm hearing okay um and i feel like 
in the past with the three of cups you weren't but there is an energy here um don't i feel like don't get too apathetic do you know what i mean um i feel like the four of cups is trying to tell you that love is definitely coming in but i feel like you have you may have some options that are around you if you become too indifferent or too apathetic to your um, options you may wind up with zero options um, as far as your love life um, i feel like don't give up uh, and don't spread yourself too thin but also don't take things too seriously if that makes any sense okay when it comes to your love life right um i feel like they're saying when it comes to your dating life you can definitely um keep your social life active don't zero in too much on just one person they're saying um because then you may lose if that doesn't work out then you lost all your options keep it simple i'm hearing your dating life until you find or you connect with someone that you feel you're in alignment with right um but don't become too indifferent to the to the point where you're like oh i just don't want anyone at all because then i feel like you uh, may find yourself um kind of like alienated do you know what i mean from from love in in general and that might be not a place where you probably really want to be to begin with you know when the pendulum swings you don't want to go too far to the right and too far to the left you want to keep things kind of in balance they're saying let's see what's driving you in your love life and if you notice the format's a little bit different today i just felt called to do this a little bit different let's see what's driving you right now in october okay the king of cups is showing up here so you could be a water sign or you've got a water sign uh, cancer scorpio pisces that is significant in your life now the king of cups uh, masculine or feminine energy does represent someone who has um, high emotional intelligence this is someone who is nurturing compassionate um, someone who is kind someone who is caring um, so this might be um, an energy that you are striving to have more in your life uh, as far as those types of um, values you might be trying to become or, or, or be more in alignment with that type of energy within yourself um, uh, you might be striving to be more like that or exhibit more of those values in your life but you also might uh, be focusing on a king of cups or a water sign in your life at this time trying to decide if this is someone that you wish to have a romantic partnership with okay let's see what is crowning down upon you okay so you've got the queen of swords this is interesting now as an energy this would represent being truthful with yourself okay so uh this is being honest with yourself this is having clarity um the queen of swords can represent well it does represent air the air element of libra gemini aquarius um air is about the intellect and the thoughts um, and since it crowns down on the crown chakra this is about your thought process are you clear thinking um your conscious thoughts are they crystal clear okay it's interesting you also might be thinking about an air sign at this time as well if you are an air sign you might be thinking about yourself as well um if you're an air sign you might be thinking about a water sign or if you're a water sign you might be thinking about an air sign um and if you're neither of those this is thinking about are your thoughts in alignment with your feelings okay as well so i feel like at this time there's a little bit of conflict regarding the king of cups and the queen of swords you um might be 
there may be a relationship between the two and there might be some conflict. You could be dating one of these signs and there might be some conflict happening in a relationship at this time where you may be having a hard time making a decision about a relationship regarding this, these two people, you and this other person, you and another person. There may be a desire to become indifferent or apathetic towards it and not choose. You may be undecided. You may not know what to do about a particular relationship at this time as well because of some conflict that's brewing at this time. And for some of you, you may make a decision to do nothing at this time. Okay. Let's see what comes up for the near future. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. So the near future is calling for you to ground yourself. And this focuses or at least talks more about family, leaving a legacy, inheritance, your business. I feel like the message here going forward is you really need to not let any kind of conflict or struggle your dating life affect your work and your career. If you feel like you're in a situation right now where your work or your career, your finances are being affected by a troubling relationship, I feel like the message here is, um, well, it looks like it'll be okay, but if you're, if you're struggling with something here, some type of relationship that you can't figure out, I feel like it would be a benefit for you to um, just kind of leave it be. I, sometimes I feel like the more you get your get your your hands and the more you mix up the the batter, the the more damage you do to it. Sometimes you just gotta let things settle a little bit, and and they kind of work themselves out. I feel like. <laughs> If this is a relationship that you want to work out, I do see that you guys will come to a very stable, secure, committed relationship going forward, especially in October. Um, you've got Taurus energy here as well. I do see some type of commitment will come out of this or possibly even marriage or long-term stable type of relationship. So if that's something that you're seeking, it feels to me like it's going to come by way of just kind of leaving it be. Um, if there's conflict, trouble in any kind of relation, whoever, whoever, whomever you are involved with, what, whom, whatever sign you are, Sometimes just, uh, you know, the more you fight, the worse it gets. Sometimes just letting things be seems to just kind of release. Everybody kind of settles down. There's calm. And then, you know, uh, somehow we get back to the reason why we loved each other in the first place. Right? So this feels to me like there is a match here. I feel like someone in this connection is a bit more of an introvert compared to another person. And I feel like the introvert is the one who feels like this is a really good match. I feel like the person who is impatient is the one who is getting tired of waiting. And the one who's impatient is the one who um, is causing the conflict. The introvert is not causing the conflict. The one who's the introvert is trying to get away from the conflict. Let's take a look and see what your advice. Okay. You've got the Nine of Swords. And you have the Ace of Wands. So it looks like your advice here is try not to let your anxieties get the best of you. I feel like night might be the hardest time for you because your thoughts probably go wild. <laughs> At night, you're worried 
I just feel like you worry at night because of the conflict. But you know, in the morning, there's new growth. The sun comes out. The flowers bloom. Uh, there's a new day. Try to focus on the new day that dawns. There's always a new beginning to start over. Um, I feel like your advice is to try to focus on, I mean, if you look at these two cards here, this is night. This is like, oh, I can't sleep. I'm stressing. I'm worried, you know. But look, look at the morning. It's so beautiful. You know, the birds are out. The butterfly, well, that's a butterfly. The butterfly's out. The, the dawn is breaking. The sun's coming out. It's beautiful new morning. Um, the day will break. Try to focus on the beautiful morning that's coming. That or first sip of coffee or tea in the morning. There's always a new day to begin again. Okay, let's take a look at what's external to you and this other person. Okay, got death. So that does represent Scorpio energy there. And, huh, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Interesting, we've got three court cards showing up here. So there's a fire sign that's external to you that is putting an end to something and moving away. Okay. There may have been a third party involvement that could have caused some type of um, interference and causing some conflict in this connection. Whomever that third party interference was is looks like getting out of the picture here is is no longer going to be in the picture is is removing themselves from the picture. So if you suspected that your person had maybe some reservations for another person or still had energy attached to another person or was still with another person, it looks like they're that's over. It's ending. That person is moving away or moving out of the picture here. Okay. Let's take a look here and see what your hopes and or fears are. Okay, beautiful. A new love, a new beginning, a new start. Yes. Having that, that, that feels like, like fresh clothes out of the dryer. That feels like that fresh, clean scent, a brand new start, a brand new beginning. Um, hoping for that apology, hoping for that fresh text message, that loving, sweet, those kisses, this kiss and make up kind of thing. If there was some, like I said, the conflict and not, be, not being sure what to do, having a new beginning here, uh, wondering if it's too soon to talk or, you know, not being sure what to do, feeling scared or feeling shy or intimidated by a situation, hoping to get back on track. I do see uh, hoping to have that, fearing it won't happen, but I feel like there is something here um, about possibly a third party a third party could be a romantic person a romantic party it could be interference from family or friends um, it could be uh, involvement with anything external like a work person place or thing do you know what I mean could be family members interfering any anything that obstructs the relationship from moving forward okay let's take a look and see the overall outcome of this situation and always hoping for a happily ever after but we'll take a look and see for october wonderful the sun this is success this is a positive outcome for this situation so that's leo energy but i don't feel like it's a well, it could be a leo outcome but it feels more like this is happiness this is joyfulness this is just overall joy. So I feel like whatever's going on in this situation here, in this relationship situation, I feel like it's, everything's going to work out, but it feels like, don't worry, be happy. I know it's so cliche, but I feel like things are just going to kind of sort themselves out. I, I feel like the message here is don't fight, don't get stressed about the mental conflict. Um, try to see things from a positive point of view. Try to be hopeful. Try to stay as positive as you can be. Let things just kind of settle themselves. Don't try to get, you know, if somebody's, if there's um, another person who's trying to get in and fight with you, just kind of leave it alone. Just don't react. Don't fight back. Things just, it feels like you just got to wait 
uh, for things to just settle down. I feel like whatever extra uh, external involvement is involved in this situation, I feel like that's just got to fizzle out. And then you and whomever your person is, or this, even if this is somebody new that you meet and this energy plays out, I feel like things are just going to kind of get back on track and we'll just eventually um, go the way they're meant to go. So... I feel like the overall message is just be positive. It's a good thing. All right, you guys, going to leave that there for you, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. The only one. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the peace.